Patriots are coming off of six straight losses. They return from England, a disappointing loss to the Jacksonville Jaguars, but they're back here at Gillette Stadium to take on their AFC East rivals, the New York Jets. And guys, not a lot to take home from that loss in England, Tamara, but Drake May was pretty good. He continues to progress over his first two games. What are you going to be looking for him this week against the Jets? I want to see Drake May keep his foot on the gas. He's had back-to-back -back games with over 200 yards passing. We have to get that supporting cast around him to be better. Ramondre Stevenson came back only 18 yards rushing. That's not what you want out of your lead back. Jalen Polk, those two were inseparable when they first came in the building. He's had a ton of drops. And then the offensive line, seventh different combination. They have to get some continuity there. Gerard Mayo has said it. I'm going to repeat it. Drake May, his play is encouraging, but everything about him, around him has to be better. Yeah, Evan, what did, what did you see, though, specifically from the second game against the Jaguars? Yeah, I think it's a great point Tamara makes because I, I feel like it's wrong to point the finger at anything Drake is doing wrong at this point. He's a rookie, 22-year-old, and his second career star. He's going out there playing pretty well. What I, I am encouraged by the most is that a lot of his plays are on time in structure from the pocket. We're not talking about him just going out there and being an athlete and you know scrambling or throwing off script or anything like that. These are real football plays that are sustainable over the course of time. So that's been the most encouraging part. I, I would say most of the, the downgrades on Drake May right now are accuracy issues where he'll have you know half a dozen throws a game where he probably would want those back so uh, that might take some time with his mechanics and tightening up his release and his footwork and things like that uh it's in order for him to correct so that's not going to happen overnight uh they're going to have to take some time with that but in general it's an extremely encouraging start so Jets secondary a little bit banged up they might get hassan reddick back this week he's been holding out racking up some fines i guess the, i guess he's ready to jump <laughs> back in and pay those fines off but will mcdonald's been pretty good on the other side we know what the patriots did in week three against this jets defense not much with jacoby Brissett. What do you see when you look at this Jets defense tomorrow? I see a Jets defense that's hungry. They're going to be very stingy coming into this one because they know the Patriots have a struggling offensive line. Who knows if they're going to have the same one as last week. So I think they're going to be looking to stop the run first. They know if they can stop Ramondre Stevenson, keep him at 18 yards like he had last week, it's going to force Drake May to throw. And this defense, a very, very veteran defense, knows that they can shake things up for Drake May, hopefully make it difficult for him to have another 200 passing yards performance. Yeah, C.J. Mosley back in two, didn't have to face him last yeah. time. Patriots struggled to get their run game going can they do it with Mosley back in the lineup yeah it's a good question and this Jets defense a lot like the Patriots defense is underperforming right now they're only 20th in the league in DVOA we're so used to that defense being one of the top units in the league every single year they've had some injuries at corner uh, DJ Reed Michael Carter have been in and out of the lineup but I look at this Jets defense right now and see a lot more man coverage uh, that they're playing this year compared to years past. They, their roots are in that Seattle three, cover three type of defense, but they've played a ton more man coverage. And since firing Robert Sala, that's even increased even more uh, to cover zero, cover one, coming after quarterbacks. That's what they did in week three against Jacoby Brissett as well. So when I look at this up matchup, I just wonder, are they going to play man to man and blitz Drake May and do what they did in week three? Or are they going to play uh, the rookie a little bit different than they did with Brissett? Now, the Jets coming off loss of their own they're two and five I mean they're struggling as well but they have a new piece <laughs> Devontae Adams we're familiar with him what do you think he brings to this Jets offense Tamara? He brings a lot to this Jets offense because before it was a two-headed monster of Garrett Wilson and Alan Lazard now it's a three-headed monster when you add in Devontae Adams the old friend and Aaron Rodgers the chemistry as you can expect was a little bit up and down last week in his first start I expect that to be better in this one but actually I've got my eyes on these running backs from the Jets. I think they're going to be the game wrecker. You saw what happens, happened with the Jaguars. They ran the ball 16 consecutive times. The Jets can copy and paste and do the same thing and make this a nightmare for this Patriots front who is struggling to stop the run. Over the fa past five games, they are averaging 167 yards rushing. That is unlike it. Unlike the Patriots defense, they have to be better. I mean, does it all start there, Evan, with the run game? I mean, Brees Hall, Braylon Allen, two guys that, that yeah. had some success last time against the Patriots. Yeah, look, uh, they have a lot of weapons. Uh, the Jets have a lot of weapons. This roster looks like it should be a playoff caliber roster. It's probably why the coach isn't there anymore. And uh, you look at Brees Hall in that game against Pittsburgh he takes a little check down and it turns it into a 50-yard game like just like that he's explosive player really good with the football 
ball in his hands. Braylon Allen, more of that power back between the tackles, but he's got some juice as well. And, and I'd still feel like Rodgers, even though I, I I don't see him ripping throws uh, like he used to necessarily all the time, uh, he can drop it in the bucket consistently well. Gets the ball out extremely quickly. That's another thing that's been difficult is getting pressure on him because of that quick release. Uh, but when he sees that single coverage on the outside, he's going to drop it in the bucket still to those receivers. So uh, he's very dangerous with his quick decision making. All right, guys, wrapping things up with our one key Patriot for this game. I'm going to start. I'm going with Ramondre Stevenson. I know not much production last week. Two weeks, really, with Drake May. He hasn't had a running game to really get support from. What does it look like when Drake has a little bit of running game? I know it's not all in Ramondre Stevenson. The line is part of it, too. But I think he's my key guy. They've got to get him going to have that complimentary offense like they know they need. Who do you got, Tamara? Stop the run. Have some fun. And with that being said, I can't pick one player. I'm going to pick a whole room, the linebacker room. Without Jawan Bentley, these linebackers have not been the same. They've been not able to tackle. They can't stop anyone in space, which is going to be a problem with Brees Hall. So if they can get back to textbook tackling, it'll be a better day for this Patriots defense. Yeah, going in a similar spot to Mary, just this pass rush for the Patriots last week only logged four hurries. Basically didn't touch Trevor Lawrence the entire game in London. And you look at this last matchup against the Jets in week three, Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers got outside the pocket time and time again. Four for five for 71 yards on extended plays. It's over 14 yards per attempt. They got to keep the quarterback in the pocket. They can't let him go out there and look like vintage Rodgers running around and making plays. All right, well, that's going to do it for us. We'll see how the Patriots can do here taking on the two-win Jets team. Patriots looking for their own elusive second win of the season. Be sure to tune in to the Patriots pregame show starting at 1045 and kickoff at 1 p.m. as the Patriots take on the Jets.